Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mr. Lee Physics class. So let's look at the uh, slide. So the slide show that there is a motor, the electric motor. Then we use a Tesla meter to make sure the to make sure the uh, magnetic field around the motor. So from here, we the second slide we notice that there will be a meter. So the meter is worn around a cable. And then we can get the reading of, you see how many, the, the, the magnitude of the number is not important yeah. But notice that the unit is ampere. Ladies and gentlemen, as we know that the a meter is used to make sure the electric current, right? The unit should be in ampere. So any meter, any A meter, the A meter we should, okay? So we should put the A meter connected in series. But this one, just you see, just one around the cable without any connection, without any of the electric current flow in series, we also can make sure the electric current. The left side, the left diagram show that when the Tesla meter is put around the motor, then we get the reading there will be a difference reading of Tesla. This means how many milli Tesla, for example. Ladies and gentlemen, so sorry, yeah, so today the loading of the slide Okay, same, slow a bit. Let's look at the slide. In this lesson, you will understand the whole effect by investigating the motion of charge carriers in an electric and magnetic field. You also understand the whole effect by observing the deflection of charge carrier, charge carrier, in a current carrying conductor when act upon by a perpendicular magnetic field. Three, derive the expression of Hall effect. And four, explain the significance of Hall effect for semiconductor. And objective number four will is describe the use of the whole effect. So now, behavior of a charged particle in an electric field. As we know that there will be a two plate which connected to the positive terminal and negative terminal of the extra high tension source with a distance D, when a positive charge moves through the electric field, we notice that the positive charge will deflect to the negative terminal. How about the negative charge? Negative charge will deflect to the positive plate. Okay. Then, next slide. So, we can set that, we look at here now, then the electric field produced, represent by E, then when a charge, a positive charge, move along, move between the, electric field, so it will deflect that 
it's deflected to the negative flag. So given that VQ is equal to the speed of the charge, positive charge is equal to 2.5 times 10 to the power 4 ms negative 1. The distance of separation is 5 cm and the potential difference of EHT is 5,000 watt. Charge is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 19 column. Okay, with the electric, sorry, with the magnetic field is zero Tesla. Okay, so what happened if the, okay, we can, okay, what happened if we cannot increase, yeah? Okay, so from here, FE equal to QE. Q is equal to uh, Fe is equal to Q over V over D. So we get that the electric force produced, okay, the F, sorry, the electric force produced will be equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 14 Newton. The electric force that act on the positive charge is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 14 Newton. Okay, so now we go to the next slide. Now we look at here a positive charge. Now, okay, straight away hit to the negative flag. So according to the Fe equal to QE, so we get that the electric force is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 14 Newton. Now what happened if the, uh, present, if in between the electric field also present the magnetic field with magnetic flux density of one, B. Okay, so that's mean one Tesla. So now when the present of magnetic field, what happened to the positive charge? So the distance of the uh what is that the angle of diffraction reduced. So once I increase again. Okay, we notice that. Okay, just now something. Okay, now if the, okay, just now we get that by using FB equal to BQV, FE equal to QV over D. Okay, so FB is the force due to the magnetic field. Fe is the force due to the electric field. So electric force and the magnetic force. So when the magnetic field increase, so what happened? We notice that. So the angle of deflection reduced. This means that the distance hit further away. How about four? Five. Oh, the charge is moving in a straight line. This means that we can observe that when the electric field produced is equal to the, sorry, the magnetic field produced is equal to the, elect, the elect, magnetic force produced is equal to the electric force. This means that the charge will move in a straight line. If the magnetic field keep on increase, what happened? The positive flag will deflect to the positive terminal. Why? Because the magnitude of the magnetic 
field. The magnitude of the magnetic force is greater than the electric force. Okay, so that will be the, repeat again. So when the magnetic force is higher or greater than the electric force. So the positive charge will deflect to the positive terminal. Okay. Okay. This is the effect of the electric field. Because as we know that negative charge, positive charge should deflect to the negative terminal. But now because the combination of the electric field and magnetic field. So when the magnetic field, magnetic force produced is stronger than the electric force, then the charge will deflect to the positive terminal. Ladies and gentlemen, calculate the Lorentz force between the magnetic force and the electric force when B equal to 4 Tesla. When the field was at 4 Tesla, the Lorentz force and the electric force acting on the positive charge are given below. Fb equal to BQV. We get that it will be 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 14 Newton. For the electric force, Fe equal to QE. We also get that Fe is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 14 Newton. Both of the magnitude of the electric force and magnetic force are equal. So that means the net force between the electric force and the magnetic force are equal to zero Newton. What is the meaning of zero Newton? When Fb equal to Fe, net force acting on the charge particle is zero. No net charge, no resultant, okay? No net force, no resultant force. The charge particle move in a straight line. At other value of B, an unbalanced force acting on the charge particle making its deflect either to the positive or negative flat. That's because present of the resultant force. The un this understanding of the net force created from the Lorentz force and the electric force is important in understanding the whole effect. Okay, so this means that in whole effect must involve the electric field and the magnetic field. Okay, so it must use the electric force and the magnetic force as well. As a summary, we can say that electric force on a charged particle is given by Fe equal to QE equal to QV over D. The magnetic force on the charged particle also known as the Lorentz force, which is given by Fb equal to BQV. Let's observe a conductor. So now we will go through the behavior of electric charge carrier in a metal subject to magnetic field. Let's say a conductor with a distance, with a wide distance of D. The thickness will be the T. When this conductor, okay, so what happened, we notice that, um, let's say, when it is flow through with a current, 
when a current flow through the conductor in this direction so the electron electron always move opposite direction with the current yeah so electron will move in this direction okay so that means that vd that means that the electron are well arranged in the the motion of the electron in the electric field we call that the speed will be the drift velocity of electron next now we look at here just now the electron is moved from opposite direction with the current right now we have the difference okay if there will be a magnetic field in this direction this means that from the bottom to top which the current is perpendicular to the b okay ladies and gentlemen the electric okay uh, we notice that now the electron will move to one side okay after that when both side with the equilibrium charge okay when the equilibrium condition reach this means that the electron will back to the normal direction again when a magnetic field is applied observe that what happened at the starting apply yeah so all of the electron will deflect and form to form a negative and positive terminal okay so what happened is from here the force acting on the charge carrier just now you know we notice that it will be changed the magnetic force is constant the electric force produced will increase because positive terminal and negative form become stronger once fe equal to fm okay the electric force equal to fm so this means that the charge will move in a straight line okay so when in a magnetic field so electron will deflect to the other side from negative terminal here positive terminal okay so the once the electric force and the magnetic force are in the same magnitude but in opposite direction so the charge will move in a straight line okay now consider once the current now still flowing and the equilibrium terminal which that means that the fm the force due the, the the force due to the magnetic field okay we use the fleming's left hand screw direction of the current is the middle finger okay fbi this will be the direction of i and this will be the direction of b and we get that this will be the lorentz force fm okay the electric force is from terminal to positive terminal at the end if i place a voltmeter in both sides 
positive and negative, right? That means that they will show that a small value of the potential difference. Okay, so in milli, but very small. So this, we said that this will be the whole effect. The whole effect produce the whole voltage. The whole voltage just produced beside, okay, side by side of the conductor. Now, As a summary, we can set that when the current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, a transverse voltage is generated in a direction perpendicular to both the current and the magnetic field. So, electron as a majority carrier. Electrons as a majority carrier, this means negative charge. Okay, so electron negative charge carrier, okay, is a more negative charge. Second situation is more positive charge. So the VH, the direction will be different. Now, the, the polarity of whole voltage depends on the type of charge carrier in the conductor and when the electrostatic field set up by a charge separation balance the magnetic force on the carrier whole voltage is produced and can be made sure this observation is known as the whole effect okay so let's observe again this one Okay, now they are using the negative charge, right? Okay, we use the proton as the charge carrier. Okay, now the voltmeter show the reading will be the whole voltage. Let's go through the next slide. Ah, now we are using negative charge and positive charge. If negative charge move in this direction, okay? So we notice that this will be using the FBI that will be the Fleming's left-hand rule. We use Fleming's left-hand rule. This one, electron is always opposite the direction of the current. Current, okay, middle finger, follow the direction of current. And the magnetic field is go into the plane. And we found that the Lorentz force is point to, what side? Point to the left, uh, sorry, right side. So this means that the electrons always opposite direction to the current. So it will move in this direction to right. So this means that electron to right side, this means that electrons, they have negative charge. So negative charge form at the right side. And the positive terminal will form at the, the other side. Now same thing, electric current in this direction, magnetic field into the plane, and we get that the force is in this direction. So this means that positive charge is follow the direction of current. So it will deflect to the positive to the right side and form the term positive terminal here. And this will be negative terminal. Whole voltage always flow from positive to negative, positive to negative. So the current flow in this direction. The whole voltage flow from positive terminal to negative terminal. So it will flow in this 
direction. Okay. Next. Derivating an expression for whole voltage. So when an equilibrium condition is reached, the magnetic force experienced by the charge carrier is balanced by the electric force created by the whole effect. This formula, we just can find out the magnitude by using the magnitude are equal. The direction we need to analysis by either it is positive charge or negative charge. Now, Fm equal to BEV. VD will be the drift velocity. And Fe equal to EE. E, e VH over D, whole voltage. So by equating, okay? Equating Fe and Fm, E VH over D equal to BEVD. At the end, the whole voltage will be equal to B VD times with the distance of separation of D. Okay, so magnetic field, okay, magnetic flux density times with the drift velocity of the electron times with the distance separation, we get the whole potential. Now, when the current flow, electron will flow in opposite direction. Once whole effect produced, electron will form, move to the other side and form the electric field. When the equilibrium stash reach, so the electron will move in a original track. So from here, what happened if with anger? Okay, so the derivation just now said that VH is equal to, okay, BI over NPE. Whole voltage is equal to BVD over D, right? Distance, right? So this means that it will be BID, if you use current, okay, over NDTE. So what happened if with the, the magnetic field is not in the perpendicular. This means that we need to use VH equal to BI cos delta over NTE. This means that we use the formula BI over NTE cos delta. Okay, the angle is made sure from the, okay, in this direction, yeah, vertical, yeah. Next, once the current, now we notice that when the current is flow through the conductor with a magnetic field, with a thickness of 1 mm, 1.5 cm. So what we get that the electron will flow in opposite direction, okay? By using, okay, so by using the formula, we get that the magnitude is equal to 0 0.44 micro volt. That is the whole voltage, okay? So the whole voltage is very small in a good conductor. Not that the white of 1.5 cm is not needed in the calculation. Okay, so this means that the D is not needed if there is a good conductor. Okay, by using the formula BI over NTE. Now, what happened? Using the expression VH equal to BVD D, drift velocity of electron can be calculated. So by using VH equal to BVD over D, VD is equal to VH over VD, then this, we need to use the D. We use the D to find out the drift 
uh, velocity. So drift velocity of the electron will be 1.5 times 10 to the power negative 5. Now, ladies and gentlemen, okay, I need to go back just now. How to go back? Yeah? Okay, let's look at the slide again. Okay, let's me loading the slide again. Okay, so when the current flow through, now which side is positive, which side is negative? Using the, what is that? Our FBI, Fleming's left hand through, current in this direction. Okay, the current, the current in this direction, magnetic field is out. That means that the positive charge will go to this side. This will be positive. This will be negative. Then positive will be here. Is it uh, if electron? Okay, electron positive later, yeah. Okay, so this side will be negative. That means that current, current B and electron move to this side. Okay. Electron. Okay. If positive. Okay. That means that here the electron will move in this side and cause the other side with positive terminal. So how is the connection? We should connect in this. We get that it will be 0 0.44 microvolt. What happened? Okay. Is it possible I can exchange or not? Okay. I cannot do anything. If exchange, that means that the current will flow in opposite direction. Okay. Show that will be in others, the other direction. Okay. But no matter how, okay, this what Okay, what uh, micro what meter can show both side. Okay, left opposite direction, right side is in the okay correct direction. As a summary, power voltage is given by the formula of V hash equal to V i over N T e. And how voltage generated by a metallic conductor like gold or copper is in the microvolt range because they are in good, they are good conductor. Drift velocity VD of electron in a conductor can be determined by VH equal to B VD times D. Okay, VD, VD will be the drift velocity. And whole voltage has a different polarity for positive and negative charge carrier where the determination of n-type or p-type semiconductor can be achieved. Now let's observe the diagram. Now, they are positive charge and negative charge. Positive charge flow in the direction of the current and negative charge electron flow in opposite direction without any magnetic field, okay? When a magnetic field is applied, this means that we notice that the positive and negative terminal are formed. Okay, when equilibrium condition reach the whole voltage produced. Okay, now whole voltage from positive to negative, so they show the direction. Okay, so from here, property. Okay, this model show a strip of gallium arsenide frame. So this means it's a, like a frame. GAAS, okay, this gallium ascendant is a new glass of semiconductor compound used in whole effect sensor and other devices such as in mobile phone, infrared LEDs, 
250 GHz oscillator application, microwave point to point links, and satellite communication. So this one normally use, okay, uh, what's mean by microwave point to point? Microwave point to point, this means is the Bluetooth. Okay, the Bluetooth link. GAAS is crystallized in structure. Electronic properties of the gallium arsenic are very much superior to that of silicon. It has a higher structure electron drift velocity of VD. It also has a higher electron mobility as compared to silicon and copper. This means that it's better than a normal silicon. It's also better than a copper. Electron collision does not occur frequently. And the diagram here show the n-type, n-type, yeah? So this means that n-type semiconductor. This means this is n-type gallium arsenic semiconductor. Okay, where the conductivity, okay, the density will be 5318 kg per meter cube. Okay, 